thank you, Chair and uh, Honourable Members. I do have a difficulty, Chair, calling landless people honourable because there's nothing honourable uh, with landlessness, more so when those who have stolen your land sit next to you and are in your country. So uh, permit me to call them landless members and leave the white people as maybe honourable since they do have our land. Uh, my submission today will highlight only three matters because with 10 minutes we have already provided a comprehensive uh, submission which uh, can be read, uh, read. I will deal with issues of what is the problem, what are we proposing as Black First Land First is the solution, and also why we say this particular process is the biggest political fraud since the Cordesa negotiations. And I also want to recognize the leaders of Black First Land First who are here, including the Deputy President, Comrade Zanele Luana. Let's deal with preliminary issue. There's a preliminary question which must be quickly dealt with. BLF supports the call to amend Section 25 of the Constitution so that all land in the hands of, the, of white people, or rather is, is returned to the hands of black people, all that land which is currently in the hands of white people. And that includes land in Orania, land in Stellenbosch. All that land must be returned. Land expropriation must ensure land returned to the hands of black people. There has been some confusion about who owns the land or how the land must be administered. The land is not a commodity expressed in title deed. Nor does it belong to the state. Imagine if the land is given to Honorable Shivambu to manage and he becomes our landlord, eh, we will all be serfs. The land belongs to the people. The state must simply guarantee that land belongs to the people. Land is not a commodity. It must not be titled in exchange for collateral. So you must, we must give our people secured tenure, but land is not a, a commodity for exchange, nor does it belong to the state. We can't give land to politicians. Now, quickly, the issue, there is also some confusion. We have followed some of the discussions going on here. The Constitution, uh, Chair, does not, as it stands, allow for land expropriation without compensation. It's a fallacy, it's a lie, pushed by people like Professor Ruth Hall, by people like Advocate uh, Tem Tebega and Luka Itobi, uh, also we know the former president, or, or, or Halema. It's a fallacy and a lie by people who oppose land expropriation without compensation. In our written submission, we have given you four instances where this matter has already been resolved by our courts. Including, why is this man disrupting me? Sit down, chief. Hello. Yeah, we are disrupt. Chair, this man is disrupting me. Why are you allowing this white man to uh, Can I make, me? take uh, a point of order? No, 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 no. I will want to take a point of order. I think in terms of the rules of parliament, um, <clears throat> we're not entitled to take any photographs or videos with our mobile phones. So maybe that also includes the presenters. All right, please yeah. uh, follow the rules. Yeah, but I mean, that's a small matter. The bigger matter is when are we retain land? The issue is, the, the debate is this. The constitution as it stands does not allow for land to be expropriated without compensation. It's a lie. And uh, there's a recent case, and I don't know why Advocate Tembeck and Nukai Toby does not tell you and all of those others. He sits as an acting judge in the Land Claims Commission, in the Land Claims Court, rather. He sees as a judge, as an acting judge. He has been overturned trying to use this lo logic that this constitution as it stands provides for land expropriation without compensation. That matter is sitting with the appeals division where they said to him, no, you can't pay white people every time we take land. So what is the problem? The problem is simple. The problem is white people have stolen our land. That is the problem we're solving here. And there is already national consensus that land must be returned. The liberation movement has fought for our land. And the question is, in 1994, the ANC had failed to resolve this question. As we sit now, 35,000 white people, they don't even fill a stadium. They own about 80% of our land. And the ANC has bought about 8% of the land since 1994. Our people are, are slaves on farms. We ourselves, landless members. Any black person in this house, they know we are called kafirs and other things by white people on the basis that they have land, you are landless. 
So this policy of the ANC up to now is a perpetuation of the illegality of land theft. So what are we proposing as Black First Land First? One, remove the whole section, 25 must be removed, and replace that section with the following. A, all land held by whites in South Africa is stolen property. Express that in the section itself. Because then you are able to say, you are expropriating by, you are just redressing. Land in white hands is stolen property. Black people, all of them have a right to this land. See, the eviction of farm workers and poor people from land must be declared illegal. So you can't, you see, uh, say, in terms of this proposal, evict uh, black people. Land occupation D by landless black people must be made lawful. That is what we propose for to replace the current uh, section 25. Now, we also want to make another point that we reject the notion, notions of unused land, vacant land, unproductive land. Julius Malema and the president of the country, they talk about uh, unproductive land sometimes. No, all land, all of it, unused, used, productive, unproductive belong to black people. Or Orania and other white people have no right to this land and we must retain it. And we want to make a, a move that this committee must ensure that these amendments must be made a uh, law before the 2019 elections. Then there's a definitional question. Land expropriation without compensation means taking land from whites, the benefic beneficiaries of theft, and giving it to black people, the victims of this theft, of this crime. Land in the hands of black people must be excluded from expropriation. That is why we say hands of the Ngonyama Trust. Leave the Ngonyama Trust alone. Take land of white people because that land in white hands is stolen property. Seven, declare, and I will explain this, declare any economic activities calculated to subvert the land return program treason, as treason. White people are busy, even this recession. Look at the figures. White people have caused this recession. Agricultural is the biggest contributor to the current recession because they are want to terrorize you through economic terrorism into not touching the land question. Make it treasonous, therefore, anybody who interferes with the economy or production uh, trying to undermine the land reform program. Why we say this is a political fraud? The biggest political fraud, this process we're talking about, the biggest political fraud since Codesa. Firstly, there will be no amendment of the constitution before the elections. You all know this. Tell the nation, there will be no amendment of the constitution before the, because you are delaying this a possibility. You know yourself, I mean, that you, this process is just about getting votes from our people. We don't trust uh, Honorable Malema and the landless Ramaphosa. Both of them are below, and okay, we can explain that beholden to land thieves like Johan Rupert. When they say there's going to be land expropriation and they don't do it, we have no reason to believe that they will expropriate. The ANC and EFF already have the two-third majority. Why did you have to do this process? All that you do, there was already a bill, by the way, which has been withdrawn. You should have just gone to that bill, make it consistent with the resolution you have made for land expropriation without compensation. You did not. You come to us and ask us, do you want land? Do you want your and justify? So, so a guy steals your, your car chair and you, you, you meet that person in the street. And then uh, that person said you must justify why you want your car back. This is, what, this is exactly what this process is about. So we must ask over and over again why the ANC and EFF have not used their two-third majority to effect this uh, land expropriation without compensation. Because this process, after this, uh, your recommendation to parliament, you're going to take the matter to another committee. That committee is going to draft a bill. That bill is going to start all over again, ask for us to come and participate again. That is the process of parliament because this process we have here is illegitimate. has no meaning in terms of making law. This committee, the, 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 the constitutional review committee, has never amended the constitution. It only makes recommendations. You know that. You lie to our people here yeah, saying that you want to um, uh, expropriate land without compensation. When it's not going to happen. So we are saying these delays are deliberate and the means 
to give an opportunity to lend thieves like Afri Forum so that they can have enough room to sabotage the whole process to economic terrorism. Already Donald Trump is breathing down our necks, their father, the father of Afri Forum. There is this recession. On the other hand, there is the, the rent. Sir uh, Ramaphosa is growing the rent very fast. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mutama. The time has lapsed. Oh, thank, th th thank, you, thank you, Chair. We just say, we are going yeah. to take, anyway, we're going to take back this land uh, by yeah, force uh, because fine. it belongs to it's us. It's fine. Uh, Honorable members, clarity questions. Honorable Mutapo. Honorable Fultana. Honorable Pumran. Are we all? Honorable Carter. All right, in that order. Okay, thank you, Chair. Thank you, Andile. I love the passion you are showing in this subject. But what I would like to know, in terms of communal land, why single out the Ingonyama Trust? Because there is communal land in all the former homelands. Why single out Ingonyama Trust in this regard? Thank you. Yeah, proceed. Phil yes, if it's Filtana, it's uh, Carter. Yeah, interesting enough, uh, Honorable Chair, that was the only question I had to, based on the fact that uh, the presenter and his institution actually know that uh, the land and the Ngonyama Trust belongs to government, not Ngonyama Trust. What is the point of including them when you know that the land and Ngonyama Trust belongs to government? Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. Chairperson, the first question is, but I just want to... Uh, now, I know that um, our dear colleague on that side used to be a member of Parliament, and therefore I know he's sworn oath to this constitution before. But I want to ask a question whether he is only... Does he feel that there's only a need to change section 25 of a constitution? What about section 2 of a constitution? What about the preamble of a constitution that states that believe that South Africa belongs to all of who live in it, united in our diversity? So are you saying that we should actually just remove section 25? Because what you were talking and presenting, you want us to take this and burn it. Thank you. Umran. Thank you. You know, it's very nice to be young. <laughs> um, I, I, I have a, a problem in, in what you, you say, you substitute uh, uh, the land in that way. I understand it's the age. Um, I agree with you on the question, but I want to find a clarification on, on uh, you seem to me, we, 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 are, we, we, we need to dis discuss um, uh, whether we need to change the constitution and see the possibility of taking land expropriate land without compensation. Now, I just want a clear explanation on this matter. You are saying that we remove every bit of a clause in section, in section 25. And in the process uh, to make, uh, to make a, uh, expropriation without compensation possible. Uh, what do you make a distinction between the land and the building or development, whatever you call it, within the, the land? Um, are you saying, therefore, if, if so, are you saying that we need to change the definition of, of, of land or of property. Uh, can, you, can you explain on that and as well as 
how you think uh, we can do that. Um, thank you very much, Commissioner. Replies? Oh, thanks, Chair. There are two uh, comments relating to the interaction Gonyama Trust. Why, why specifically the Gonyama Trust? Only because the Gonyama Trust has been specifically attacked. People, when they say uh, land must be expropriation of black people, they, they say the Gonyama Trust. There have been serious attacks on the Gonyama Trust, including by, and I think this is again UCT, Ruth Hall and them influencing Halima Mutlante saying that, because remember Halima Mutlante's process, the one that names the Gonyama Trust as a problem. And then political parties uh, of the right left also followed suit, say the Gonyama Trust. So we are saying, no, no, no. As a principle, leave all land of black people. But we mention Gonyama Trust specifically because there's a specific at attack on the land uh, held uh, by, 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 by the king. Now, you say the state, and all we are saying is if that land, the tenure of the, over that land is secured, and our people are able to use that land, why, why do we interfere? And if there are communal tenure problems, we can upgrade those. In fact, we know as a fact that the African system of land holdings are much more uh, protective than, than these uh, title deeds and, and related uh, 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 you know, processes that uh, the West normally follows when it comes to us. So leave the Ngonyama Trust alone. And if there are issues under the king, they will let the Zulu-speaking people deal with those issues. They are not issues of white people and... Uh, and, and Halema Mutante to attack the Ngonyama Trust. Leave the king alone. In fact, you must respect the king. Uh, then there's a question, I think, from Honorable Member Carter about whether I just mentioned Section 25. I'm happy with the rest of it. No, in fact, the Constitution itself is very bad for black people. All of it. But since we're talking about Section 25, and we believe a lot hinges on Section 25, South Resolve issues of Section 25 and others will also have to follow. If we are in this parliament and a majority will change that constitution, it was written by Rose South Kola. African President. Uh, uh, Sir Ramaphosa, Honorable President Ramaphosa was fishing and uh, Sir, uh, this other one was writing the constitution. So <laughs> we need a constitution that reflects the interests of black people. I am a proud constitutional delinquent, therefore. Change this constitution completely. But now we are talking about Section 25, and we say remove it and make sure that it addresses the matters that we have, we have said. Then there was a question relating to the distinction between land and buildings. I think the underlying worry there by people who worry is that what is going to happen to white people's houses, homes and houses and so on. <laughs> if white people have homes they don't occupy, we take them. And if white people are overhoused, so there's three white people in an eight-room house, we, we subdivide or we tax them. You can't have overhousing on the one hand and landlessness on the other. We have started taking land, I mean houses, in suburbs, white suburbs. So don't, uh, black people, don't be uh, concerned about white people. They are taken, well taken care of. What we must do is to say we want to change the apartheid spatial design and part of it will be precise. You can't have eight room houses say when people of Alexander have no homes. It's not right. And you say you are a man of God. God does not like injustice like that. So black people must stop worrying. We are resolving historical questions here. White people have not paid reparations for apartheid, for colonialism. They have not even acknowledged it and we must worry oh when we take land what's going to happen to their homes you know we love our seas too much so we will not uh, pollute our oceans we will live in peace under conditions set by black people uh, in that terrible quarter black people will set the agenda because we are the black majority these other ones who arrived in 1652 will live under our conditions all right uh we like to thank Leg first. Che, che, you, must, first. you must tell him to switch off a microphone immediately. He finishes speaking. Please switch it off. No, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Sh Mr. Shivam. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Don't, we, don't we, worry. We are going to take land off Johan Rupert. No, no. That's your Mazoti yeah. as well. We, we thank you for, for the presentation and your participation to enrich this process. We thank you very much, uh, 
Leg first, learn first. Thank you, sir, and your leadership.